white uniform, blue and purple, with purple trim, coached by the Blue Springs coaching staff. Okay, here we go, underway. 138 pound state finals. So they get the lights back on. There we go. Jesse Francis of Farmington, third place finisher last year at 135 pounds, taking on the Grand Leith of Kearney, state finals last year at 130. Leith in with a single leg early. As I mentioned, Leith is a Greco Roman cadet national champion. Very accomplished wrestler in the summertime and wrestling in the national scene. We get a stalemate call. Go back to the center with a minute 42 left in the first period. Leith in with another shot. He's going to try to work up his way up. He needs to get his left arm out and around. Still no takedown call. Well, another stalemate call. Might have been a little early, but it's another stalemate call. We'll get back on our feet. A minute 15 left. Another shot by Leith. That's his third shot. That's a good deep one on the ankle. He's going to switch to a double if he can. No takedown yet. Good defense by Francis. Now he's in trouble. Leith has his far ankle. Nothing yet. He's got to get his head out. If Leith gets his head out, he'll get the takedown. Good defense by Francis. That's why you never give up when someone shoots in like you like that. No points awarded. 35 seconds left. First period. Another shot attempt by Leith. Good sprawl by Francis. Down to almost 10 seconds left in the first period. Another shot attempt by Leith. Going to try to score here with five seconds left. Francis with good hips. Good job of keeping the hips back. We'll go to the second period now. Green's choice. And that would be Carney. Carney taking down in the second period. Uh, we got a uh, a reversal attempt by Leith. No reversal, but one point for an escape, one nothing lead for Grant Leith. Before the final started, we had a real close race for the team title between Carney and Staley. Staley's the first match off was a Staley wrestler who came out on the losing end of his of his match, and last was Kevin Kenny in the last match he won, which will seal up his team title for Carney. Leith with a two on one. Nothing. Shot attempt by Leith. He likes that, uh, that shot that he's gone to the third or fourth time now. No points. Jesse Francis is gonna, had, a, had done a great job fighting off those shots until just now. Take down by Leith. He'll take a 3 0 lead. 42 seconds left in the second period. And we get started. 42 seconds left. The caution on Leith. He started a little bit early on that. A lot of whistles going on here, and it's hard to get the anticipation down perfectly. Stand up and a nice bringing back to the mat for Leith. 
He's got 32 seconds to ride out Francis in the second period. No escape yet, still, still Leith with the advantage on top. Stalemate with 15 seconds left. Three nothing Grant Leith in the second period. 138 pound state finals. We've got a, might have a reversal on Matt number three. We're down to five seconds. No points yet. No points yet. No reversal. Good. Good defense by Leaf to not give that up. And in class two, Justin Van Hoos of Kirksville just pins Cristobal Renteria in the finals. Defending state champion Renteria pinned by Van Hoos to become Missouri's Four, only four-time state champion this year. Comes out, gets a big hug by Austin Roper. All right, we start the third period now with Jesse Francis in down position, down three to nothing. Leith is riding tough on top. Leith's been close a couple times for Leith to get scored on, and he's been able to fight it off. He's got really good defense, strong, very low center of gravity, strong legs, good hips. And in class four, we have a fall for Derek LaPaya, Blue Springs, winner by fall in class four state championships. All right, we're down to a minute 21 left in the third period. Grant Leith of Kearney with a 3 0 lead. In class one, winning by record, a score of 16 to 6, and his third state championship, Carson Hill. Class one state champion, Carson Hill. That's his third state championship in class, class one from Trenton. We're down to a minute left in class three state championship with Grant Leith and Jesse Francis. Leith maintaining a 3-0 lead, and he's getting near fall. He's got a tilt lined up. He's got two near fall on that to take a 5-0 lead with 57, 56 seconds left. We get restarted in the center of the mat. <laughs> Leith covers. Leith goes through the feet but doesn't stay long. He goes to both legs. He needs to work up, though. Or he's got a clasping call. Clasping call, that's one point penalty for Francis. Ooh. We're down to 35 seconds. Leith has been riding tough. Anytime that Francis looks like he's going to get an escape or a reversal, he's been able to fight that off. We've got a it's like we've got an injury time on Francis. He was brought back to the, maybe a little blood. When we restarted the last uh, last restart, he was brought back to the mat pretty hard. It looks like he uh, may have hit his face on the mat, which doesn't feel good. So we've got a little time here to sop up the blood. Give you a quick rundown while we have a few seconds. Of the other place winners, 138 pounds. And for third place again, Dom Cervantes of Oak Park. Fourth place, Luke Rees of Hillsborough. In fifth place, James Culp of Warrensburg. And in sixth place from Neosho, Jared Brock. All right, we're going to get started back again. We've got 20 seconds left in the match in the third period. Grant Leith of Carney at 5-1. Yeah, we're going to get another stoppage here. It's like a little more blood. Got 
I think the plug they used to plug up his nose may have come out when he tried the Syracuse roll. Gotta make sure it's all cleaned up before we restart. Here we go, 15 seconds left in third period. All Leith wants to do is hold on here. All right, we've got an escape now, making it five to two. And we've got uh, sort of a flying squirrel attempt by Francis. And we've got a late second takedown for Leith, no near fall. It'll give him a 7-2 victory. He's a state champion at 138 pounds for 2012 from Kearney. Leith, record now, 54-2 on the season. He's a sophomore. We'll see him again next year. All right, we're going to get the award stands, or the awards for 132-pound wrestlers. After that, we'll be back with the 145-pound state championship. <laughs> 